everybody. Well, friends, my name is Josue La Joshua, and I speak a little bit English. So, first, everything represents tradition from Chorotegas Indians. Chorotegas were living in all this area around 600, 700 years ago, so generation and generation. Let me show you clay how we get it. Please, please, it's hard like a rock. We get it from mountains like that. We pulverize it first, we put on this piece of wood. We call it pilon. We use a bigger piece, really big, mm -hmm. and by hands, we crush it. Mm -hmm. Just by hands, no machines. And look, it's clay after. Very, very fine. Philip, please. So fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is just like dust. Well, we mix the clay with sand. We use special sand from river. We call it iguana sand because iguanas leather axe. This sand. Very fine. Soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Wow. So, we mix two of clay, one of sand. Put on plastic bag, <coughs> water in our feet by two hours. Mm -hmm. We mix it. Good exercise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alex, fill it. After two hours, clay sand and water. It's like, like Play Doh. Play -Doh. Yeah, Play Doh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is, you know. It's a neat feel. You want to feel that? That's Play Doh. <laughs> Yeah, it feels like Play-Doh. It really does. Uh-huh. I will hear a little bit this guy's coming. Black, manganese, and red, iron. We have water. It's water. Red example. So, we use all three colors naturals for painting like this. So in this piece, you don't see blue, yellow, purple, right? We don't have any of those. Well, we use green sometimes. We get it from plants, natural too. But I don't know if you have seen around beaches, many people's holding pottery. Okay, that kind of pottery in the beaches is not from here. It's not the real. That one is from Nicaragua. They also use blue, yellow, purple, artificials here all natural our tools we use simple tools like this from the corn is the corn cup <laughs> this one yeah we use knife <laughs> plastic a rubber piece toothbrush <laughs> and the most important is this a stone quartz quartz stone we use it for polishing. Let me show you how we get the shine with this. Carlitos. Estoy cinco minutos. Ah, Thank you. 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 Thank Also, how about this? Take it and feel it. Feel the difference in that piece. So, friends, you see a natural chime 
Hey, this looks natural. It's no glaze. It's polish. We polish each piece around eight times. A lot of work. Example, when we polish that piece, that piece is unnatural now, right? So when we polish your natural, we put white paint, seven coats of white. Then polish again. After that, we have two techniques, these two. Black technique, black and white, and polychromatic technique. Black technique, we put two times, two coats of black, then we polish five or six times. Two days after, we put on this. Look at this wheel, by hand. We never use electric wheels or foot pedals. No, just by hand. Let me show you this wheel. Look at the bottom. It's part of the motorcycle, right? In the middle, two ceiling fan together. And the top is a burner of the kitchen. Kitchen burner. All recycled. So, we put in the center first, like this. We use metal. And first, we make the lines, all lines around. Then we make all these lines free hands. In this case, we take out the black. Remember, white is underneath. decoration we put pieces in the sun one day in the sun finally yes. put in the kiln fire the last process look at picture so first we polish paint decoration everything before fire we put example 40 pieces like this size in the center kiln around put wood and 30 minutes the line bigger pieces we put seven or eight and an hour it's around 1,200 degrees Celsius. Looks hard, right? And look, it's stick. Metal stick, we put pieces inside, one by one. We take out them same way, one by one. Now let me show you polychromatic technique. First in way, we polish them natural, then put white paint, seven coats, polish. After that, in this case, we use piece of a sponge, colors, and we paint like this. Also, we use toothbrush, colors and legs, like speckles, we paint it. Then we put in the center wheel, we use paintbrush and we make all designs, free hands, put different colors, then polish five or six times. Two days after, we make decoration same way, white is underneath, same idea. Then put in the sun, finally put in the kiln. I'm going to show you some traditional design from Charotegas indigenous. Look. Geometric figures, means mountains and waves. Geometrics. The king of the jungle, jaguar. Monkeys, means good luck. Monkeys. The most important snake represents fire god and feather snake. Are the bats. Bat represent a day, a special day. <coughs> Sun and moon also. All bird means beauty. Parrot, toucan, owl, butterfly, flowers, and iguanas too. Sorry, crabs. Crabs mean fertility. It's 
snake. And masks. Well, friends, now I'm gonna make a pot, a little one. Let me show you how we make. Friends, look at this. <coughs> Looks easy, right? Very easy. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, it takes around five years to learn. My dad was my teacher, generation and generation.
plastic. Look at this. Well, friends, look at this. A rubber piece is the magic part. Simple, right? Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. around this is ready over there outside you can see all my